Uh, we are going to wish that we had breakfast a bit earlier on before coming to the studio because then the sentiments and whatever it is that we're going to share here is essentially what has been going on for the past one week all up to yesterday. So this is the update currently as it is. Now that particular document then is going to go back to the National House for the liberation and readjustment before it is tabled for debate and passing. Now, as we wait for the National House business to resume on the 6th of um, next month, which is starting tomorrow, we do know that um, there's a mere collation and a couple of uh, civil service unions within the country have made themselves clear on what they think about the finance bill 2023. And this is what they say. Now, there's mere collision is telling Kenyans that indeed the Kenya Kwanzaa government has to reject the finance bill in totality, completely. Every proposal, according to the Azmiya Coalition, in this finance bill doesn't make sense. It's going to make life harder for majority of Kenyans. I'm going to look at those contentious uh, clauses within um, the finance bill that essentially have rattled Kenyans. Number two, they've already um, I said that the finance bill as presently crafted must be withdrawn and replaced by a bill that appreciates Kenyans suffering. So according to the Zemir coalition, this one doesn't appreciate Kenyan suffering. All right. And just because of that, then all the bipartisan talks have been suspended until those conditions they are calling in this particular um, bill are met. Good. Let's do it like this then. Let's start officially. We are online on Look Up TV across all your social media platforms. I am at Kiage Simba and our studio is filling up and it's going to be full to the brim shortly then with Kenyans who are going to tell us exactly what they think about the finance bill. Since this is Bungela Wanainchi. It would not be correct for me to make the introductions of the guests that we have in the studio. I'm just going to take a minute, introduce the guests that we have in the studio, then tell us quickly about what it is that they think about the finance bill, then come and table conversations around those particular clauses. All right, I'm going to start on my right. Quickly introduce yourself, your position, and quick sentiments about what you think about the finance bill generally, because we're going to start the debate once we're done with the introductions. Uh, my name is uh, Joseph Wanjiro, good governance advocate. Uh, for me, I'm an accountant by profession. Uh, on the finance bill, uh, for me, uh, I support it, uh, but the only with caution. I support it with caution. Yes. Why do I say caution? Yes. Because uh, the fuel uh, product is going to raise by 8% from the current 8% uh, VAT, yes. 16%. Yes. So that's where the cost of living is going to adjust a little bit higher. Yes. But on the other things about the finance bill are strictly and good for the country to move on. Thank you very much. Uh, Joseph, pass over the mic. Kindly introduce yourself. Quick sentiments about what you think about the finance bill. I'm Joseph Kimani. Well, we have two Josephs in the studio today. Yeah, yes. I'm Joseph Kimani. Yes. AKE Kenya wa Kenya. Mm -hmm. uh, on finance bill, I say or oh, I don't support finance bill at eight percent. Yes. Like forty percent. Mm -hmm. It is or uh, I move the mic closer to you. It mm -hmm. is a burden to the to one inch. It is yes. a burden to Wajiku. Yes. Because I have gone through the finance bill and I have seen some some of the added added tax to yes. the Mona inch, yes. which will be a heavy burden to the Mona inch and this is, this government was a hazardous government Lazen. and the, right now it is not a hazardous government mm -hmm. they are uh, exempting the taxes from the higher earning people and bringing down to those they call them mama boga and what were border border pretty much mr kimani will be coming back to you so that we can start tabling that conversation good um walker wow walker Kindly introduce yourself. Give me quick sentiments about what you think about the finance bill because I'll be coming to you. Thank you so much, yes. Simba. Good mm -hmm. morning. And it is a pleasure to be here. I'm Jim Walker Peter, the president of Africa International University. And financial bill, I would say, I'm not here to critique it or but give an input because I feel there are still some gaps yes. and we are going to talk about it. So yes. 
I, I feel it is a it is a wrong timing mm -hmm. to uh, and a wrong timing for implementation. So yes. we are going to talk about it and uh, really discuss about it. You will be seeing the gaps in this kind of bill. Pretty much. All right. Thank let me you. pass over the mic to Shiko. How are you doing? Good morning. I'm good. Yes. I'm Shiko Aloaka. Na mi ni Mama Boga. That's it. So I'm supporting the finance bill. Na because if we don't pay taxes, because of nyingi zimekuwa shida jia taxes, mm -hmm. uh, our country will be not in good hands. That's it. Yeah. Pretty much. Shikunda kuja kwako, by the way, kuna vitu zingine hapo za mama mboga. Zanyo zinenda kukubiza kidogo hapo, and I would like to hear what Joseph says, because indeed, yes, part of what we're going to do today, by the way, as an accountant as well, just to make it clear to them exactly what these taxes mean and what a fund means in the finance bill 2023. Good. All right. Finally. Yeah. Good morning. I'm Peter Kariuki, youth aspirant Roy Ward. Uh, for me, I don't support the financial bill 100% because it has a lot of gaps yes. that is not addressing the common monarchy. Because yes. when the Kenya Kwanza government mm -hmm. was coming in power, it was promising Mamamboga, the Asla, that they were going to treat them well. Yes. So for now, this financial bill is all about unemployment and the employment one. Yes. Because if you if you see what they were talking about, the 3% tax on housing, yes. that one is not supporting any Kenyan especially a, a mid middle class yes it is completely enough in Ilya Chini. Uh, thank you pretty much i want you to hold on to the mic because that's when we start now i want you to pass over the mic to joseph good now joseph i'm, I'm going to read for you the first one that has been quite contentious and you say that the only issue that you have with the finance bill 2023 for you from where you're standing is that now uh, feeble uh, petroleum products in the country are going to attract a total of 16 percent vat and i'm going to come to you on that as well but let's start with the first one that has got majority of kenyans rattled and they're asking this question then the three percent housing fund and they're not calling it a tax it's a housing fund, that's what, the that's what the government is calling it, that the employers are also going to match. The 3% from the employer side. So you put it at 6%. And they're saying that this essentially would, number one, create jobs for the unemployed youth within the economy and also see to the improvement of the housing standards within the country, which they say are deplorable. Now, Joseph, let's begin from this particular point. This week, start on Sunday, Opiondai, sorry, Okiontada, sorry, by the way, who was here again yesterday speaking about the issue, said, I challenged this particular one in the courts when Uhuru Kenyatta and one William Ruto proposed it. The courts listened to me. They made this a voluntary contribution. Currently, According to CS Korea, we have 30,000 Kenyans only on the voluntary program. Let's begin like this. They're not calling it a fund, but they're not calling it a tax. But then they're saying they're going to pass it and make it mandatory. Is that not a tax from an accounting perspective, Joseph? Is this not a tax? I will tell you this. Uh, the moment that you are enrolled, for example, in a circle. Yes. And when you do a mandatory deductions from your salary. Yes. And you save to the circle that yes. you are affiliated to according to your employer. Yes. Like if it is for TSC, they go their own circle. As such as circle. Mm -hmm. Is that a tax? But. but no. No, hold a tax. on. It's, it's not a voluntary. Yeah. Oh, just hold on, mainly, Joseph. Mainly. Because, but you can't use that example, though. No, no, no. Wait first. Yes. Wait. Hold on. Yes. I, I use that because what the government is saying is simple. 3% from the employer, Yes. 3% from the employee. I will ask you a question. Yes. Uh, from this perspective, if, for example, I'm paid 40,000, I'm supposed to remit 1,200, and my employer, a father, 1,200, mm -hmm. how much do I save? 2,400, under my name. It's not under employer's name. It's under my name. So, if every month I save 2,400, and I haven't been saving, and the 1,200, the employer won't add on me or deduct from my salary no it's an additional levy that is coming up you get it it's a fund that is being brought up for the culture of saving there is one thing it's, it's our president promised when we were yes. when we were on campaign mode, yes 
Well, jo well, during that KK government, yes. there's, one before. there's one thing government before. There's one government thing Ruto promised us uh -huh. that we're gonna embrace this culture of saving. And the culture of saving. Why are you forcing me to save? No, no, no. You are. Not, you are Why are you forcing me to save, Joseph? You are not being forced. I'll tell you this. Why do I say so? NSSF, we are always on it, and we are never. We never term it as forced. We are. We term it for retirement benefit. That's okay. right. And do you know that immediately I retire, Joseph? Do you know that by law I will claim my NSSF um, benefits? Yes, and you, and you get them within a year or two. But, then the, question, but then the question I want to ask you is, well, once I save to the housing fund, is it a guarantee that I'm going to get housed? No. Okay. And you're telling me that you're going to give this money back to me after seven years. But is it a guarantee that you get a return for your money? It is. But what, what return? It's not been told. What interest is this attracting? It has been elaborated. I'll tell you this. Yes. Those, the stakeholders who are analyzing the whole story of the housing levy, yes. they are being mean on their side. Because mm -hmm. like the manufacturers' companies, yes. what they are raising above finance bill, they are looking at their edge, what mm -hmm. they haven't been submitting, yes. what, are, what loopholes and the gaps that have been there yes. for them to deny the government the taxes. Now they have been caught red hearted they have to submit whether they like it or not because the cause of waivers have been favoring the rich yes not the middle class the middle class has always paid the taxation mm -hmm. and that's why majority of the middle class are all silent because they have been the they have been bearing the burden of taxation yes uh, for the rich they got something that was always known as exemption or a waiver yes. as a kra now it's not there so whether you like it whether you are rich but for the poor, yes. they have been exempted in a way in, like, for example, if I use a car, I pay VAT daily. Mm -hmm. But when I use a bicycle, do I pay VAT? No. Thank you. Pretty much. Uh, we're coming back to you on that as well. Give Joseph the mic as well. Joseph? Yes. You see, whatever Joseph is not saying <laughs> is that the critical question we are asking is... If I start saving today, or even those people who are not going to save on that fund, is that it's on a guarantee that I'm going to get this house. And I'll be coming back to you. That when you decide to do a deduction from me, who are you supposed to consult? Is it not the employer that you're supposed to consult first and the employee? But then Joseph, these are the same, same people are telling the government, you pass it, we're going to go to the street. That's why I asked you by saying, is it that somebody didn't listen first before introducing this fund? Because you can't tell me that if they consulted well within the employer circles, that they will be again threatened to go back to the street. That's what I'm saying. Is somebody forcing for something to happen here? Joseph. First of all, on this yes. matter of 3%, mm -hmm. Oh, by the way, the mic. You come and talk later. Let me change it. You hold it like this. Okay. Don't don't touch it on the. Yeah, just kido go tena apa. Okay. Da da good. Uh, ah yeah. mm -hmm. On this housing levy. Yes. First thing uh, from the monainchi, the common monainchi. Yes. They have lost trust with this government. On one issue, there was a nikiweka bibiri chini. Be ya unga itakuwa 70. We're going to come back to that, by the way, Joseph. Mm -hmm. Okay. Just start okay. like that. Uh, mm -hmm. Yeah. The the next thing. Uh huh. After sworn in of Ruto, yes. President Ruto, yes. he promised Wanainchi the gas will be at a cost of 500 to 300 shillings. Yes. Then after an interview, he said it's a, it's a, it's a cylinder, gas <laughs> cylinder. <laughs> By those two things, the, the Wanainchi have lost trust yes. with this government. Yes. On this 3% uh, levy yes. of housing, yes. Monainchi is concerned. How will I be refunded my money back? And yet the government that promises unga ya miyamoja, unga ya sabini within 100 days, haija later. Mm -hmm. That is another thing. On other thing on this levy, it is 3% yes. to low earning Kenyans. Yes. But they say 3% up to 2,500. Mm -hmm. 2,500 from uh, 2,500. 2, yes from from one from 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 employee yes 2500 from employer to those who are earning more like an mp who is earning 30000 per day no, 
why how, why is is it not three percent from the all all kenyans whoever owns millions wants those little money yes you see there is a hidden agenda there is a hidden thing yes. that will that will be milking the the mama boga that will be milking the lower the small one inch yes. if it is three percent let it be three percent to all individuals whether it's president whether it's somebody in the in a bank who is owning millions let it be three percent but you cannot say it that it's three percent to a person who is all uh, who is who, who, it, it is three percent to a person who is earning fifteen thousand yes. per month yes but it is not a three percent to a person who is owning a million per month you give him a limit and you say it is five thousand yes that is not light to the people of kenya another thing on this housing housing levy you can yetu, we have seen people's learning under the shade under the trees mm -hmm. under the trees they are no schools we have seen the uh, the police Hakuna watu wanakaa vibaya kama polisi wetu. So, when we say we are, we are, we are building houses for our employees, yes. let the government start with police. Yes. Let the government start with those uh, civil servants. Yes. We, we, we have seen Uhuru building these houses. There is one in Gara that is going on. I have seen the, 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 another one at Kiambu next to uh, Kiambu prison. Right now, they are occupied. Hakuna pesa uhuru alitisha mwana inchi, ajenge hizo nyumba. So, why? Why is it a must? This 3%. Why? How, how can you trust this 3%? How can you trust <laughs> the, the refunding of your, of your 3% after 7 years? So, for, trust you, so, so for you, Joseph, trust. your issue is trust. Trust. Just on the failure of delivery yes. of the promises that they came into government with. Yes. Fantastic. Yeah. Joseph, narudi kwako, narudi kwako, by the way. Narudi kwako, and that's why we're sitting here today. Because then, Joseph, you can actually say that indeed a trust issue in a finance bill will be wrong. I mean, it is me who's gonna pay that money. You can't say that it will be a misconception. Just hold on to that, Joseph. Um, let me let me cross over to to you right now. You see, the issue here that um, Mr. Kimani is raising is just the trust issue that you have a government that is telling you, "Lipa i three percent housing fund to takupatia nyumba." Like in the case that atakupatia nyumba kuja after miaka saba. That that's the issue now, where we are not trusting this government. Do you trust? Let me first start like that. Do you trust this government going by the seven months they've been in office in terms of what they promised they're going to deliver within the first 100 days? No, I can't because they have never, they have not delivered what they promised common manage. Because Ruto, President Ruto, mm -hmm. he promised he promised the hustlers yes. that in the first 100 days, the Bay Aunga will go down 200 shillings. But for now, people are suffering. The Bay of Unga is now is 250, almost there. But how can you introduce now this financial bill to Kenyans when they are suffering? Yes. It is a burden to every Kenyan. Mm -hmm. Because for, now, for example, the currently, about the 3% tax to housing, uh, from the housing levy, this, this person who is going to retire, for, for, let's say from next year, how will he benefit there? Because, for example, I'm retiring this year. That 3%, where will it, where will it go? Joseph. Joseph, take the mic. I'm going to retire next year. <laughs> Son, you're telling me to pay, and you're paying me, you're telling me to pay 3%. I'm ready for Joseph. the question. Joseph, yeah? I'm ready. Go, jump right in. One thing I'll tell you, the trust issue is... Joseph, begin, begin on, begin on this one. Mm -hmm. Somebody is retiring next year. Mm -hmm. You're passing this bill now. Mm -hmm. You're telling them it's a must they contribute the three percent, mm -hmm. but this money comes seven years later. I'll give it to you. Okay, I'll start with one thing. Eh? Yes. The three percent. Eh? Uh, there is something we call in in accounting. Eh? Yes. Higher or whichever is higher. Does that? You get it. Uh -huh. So from what Joseph said. Yes. It's a three percent, or, or the word. Or mm -hmm. that's where the issue and misconception are coming yes. through. Because the prayers who are advocating for these, they are looking for their gains or their pains. They are not looking for what the common money would get. Like for example, Mama Mboga is not employed. True? True. Is she contributing for three percent? She's not contributing. She's not. But is, is she there an employer who is contributing three percent for her? No. No. But is she a, a beneficiary of that housing housing fund? But is it, yes. is it definitely Directly that she's gonna be or a indirect. beneficiary? Yes. In this sense. Yes. One. His son or their daughters will be employed on these sites yes. that are for those housing. 
who said that this housing would ha won't house the police? Who said this housing uh, being built won't house those people that they are being claimed that they have been negated in terms of housing? Yes. Who said so? We should read the whole thing. Let us not argue more about the 3%. Let us argue below 3%. What next comes in? The same way you said that Akeka Biblia Chini, Unga Itashuka, I will tell you it went down. When Uhuru was vacating the office, most of our ungas were selling at 247, <laughs> look, look, 300 look at, look at the reaction no, of the I'll gentleman. The look at the reaction no, of the gentleman point of view. Yes, 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 sir. Yes. We always misconcept. Yes. And we don't argue with the fact. Yes. I'll argue with the fact. Yes. Go to get, the get, your, get your mic closed. Yes, go to your Google. Go to your Google. Yes. When Uhuru vacated office, September 2022, unga was selling between 232 and 296. Peter, that how is much it? is from right the now? premium flag? How, how much no, is wait right first. From just, the just premium flag? For the sake of the currently, conversation. No, for the wait, sake of the conversation. Yes. Currently, Unga is, is being selling yes. from 166 shillings yes. to 247 yes. shillings okay, for the premium. G gentlemen, that is the truth. Gentlemen, we can once, go to any supermarket and, and, and get it. Pretty much. Gentlemen, gentlemen, once we come back then, I'm going to start this with also speaking to Shiko, by the way, as we pick up on these issues. And I want you to confirm the prices of unga, the prices of sugar, the prices of, the prices of oil in the market right now. So we come back, you see, they're all disagreeing. They're saying, well, we do not agree with you because the current prices... That's it. Guess what? Even Shiko is here. She's going to confirm on that issue, by the way. Guess what? Once we come back, then Shiko said she supports the finance bill. 2023. But let me tell you exactly where she's going to hit. Majority of people right now in the economy are via mobile money. So the thing is, any transaction that we're going to do as from 1st of July is going to attract a 20% VAT. That means it's going to cost more to even transact. Is that not a pain point for her? But again, once we come back, what is this that she's supporting in the finance bill 2023? Once we come back right here on uh, Look Up TV, this is the morning drift. We are in it and we're here to say for the next one hour, 30 minutes. So join us online. Good morning.